from Gorzy. Our new meet record holder in the high school mile. But how about the sub four mile challenge? Our final event of the night and another tremendous field chasing a sub four minute mile. Isaiah Harris from the Brooks Beast in lane one. Nathan Stark, Cascadia Elite in lane two. Kieran Love, what a great run last night. Lane three, hip three. Aiden Tooker, Oregon Track Club in hip five. David Timlin from Wannabes, hip six. Jack Urian, Oregon Track Club. Matt Wisner from the Oregon Track Club. He'll be in hip 10. Then you know these guys. Johnny Gregoric, representing A6. Stepping up and running with the pros. Top American high schooler, Aaron Saltman. Our pacer tonight, once again, Eric Sawinski. And Grant Grobesner. This is an entrant. I believe he's going to pace now. It looks like we will not get to see Matt Centrowitz in the chase for four minutes. So once again, we go to Rob. Is there a four minute miler here? Oh, there's a whole bunch of them out there. It just depends on if we really get after it. But if I know anything about Eric Sawinski's pacing, it's going to be dead on money. So what we're going to see out here today, with a little help from Grovesner, it looks like, maybe taking him through the first lap. We might even see Sawinski go through 800, maybe 1,000 meters today. He's perfectly capable of that as a, you know, stalwart one, sub 145, one, you know, 145 type of 800 meter runner for the last 20 years almost. So incredible athletes out there. You know, we've got even Isaiah Harris in the field here, and traditionally an 800 meter runner. You see him back there in fourth, NCAA champion while at Penn State in the 800 meters, world championship finalist. Eric Sawinski, the pacer at world championship medalist indoors back in 2016, so no slouch himself. But I really want to keep my eyes, honestly, on Johnny Gregoric. He looks so good, the former All-American and Pan American Games silver medalist. He looks so great in that four by mile attempt. He's back there in about fifth place. Then of course, the black kit with the red stripe going across the high schooler, Aaron Salmon. He's the top 800 meter runner in the US in high school right now, but no longer really competing for his Newberry Park High School. He's actually just doing open events because there's some limitations to high school kids can compete against and a kid that this is that is this fast oftentimes taking his racing opportunities against more elite athletes see Grovesner still in the lead so Winsky likely going to take them through a thousand meters would be my guess they have both of our pacers Calling someone else up, so it's about time to step off. Robesner will do that. Swinski stays out. We're halfway through. Halfway through, and you know, right at about 159 for the athletes through half mile. So Swinski, and then that goes right back to Isaiah Harris. Interesting position for him as an 800 meter runner, probably feeling pretty darn easy right now. The pain comes in for those 800 meter guys when they step up to the mile. And about towards the latter half of lap three, and here goes Isaiah Harris. Then it goes back to uh, Kieran Lum, Pac-12 10K runner up last year, but University of Washington elite athlete that just turned pro, running for on running. And here goes the man I was talking about before into second place, it's Johnny Gregoric. 
So Vum, Gregoric, Isaiah Harris. And here comes Aaron Salmon, the high schooler. High school senior Aaron Salmon now moving into third position. 301 with a lap to go. If these guys can't close in sub 60, like Tyler Gorzy was able to, excuse me, Tyrone Gorzy was able to in that high school mile. But I'd be incredibly surprised. So here's what we're looking at. Out in front is indeed Johnny Gregoric up on the shoulder of Lum. Gregoric, a sub 350 miler indoors. Lum also a sub four minute miler as part of that stellar crew up at the University of Washington. Isaiah Harris back there, he's gonna look for a sub four minute mile himself. This is gonna be incredibly tight, Bob. Coming down the home stretch here, Lum and Gregoric, are they gonna lunge at the line for that sub four minutes? Five, four, three, two, and they yes. do it, 358. Gregoric, 358.44, Lum, 358.68, Harris, 359.97. And waiting on high schooler Salmon, four flat point three. Oh, excruciatingly close, Bob. And a big PR for him. His outdoor mile PR, and this is from a couple years ago, 414, he ran that at Arcadia. He had a 405 indoors this winter at New Balance. What an amazing way to Solomon close out. Along with the big boys, yes he does. I, without a doubt, I mean, if you're a sub four minute mile, I know there's a lot of chatter about is the sub four minute mile important or is it too easy now? Riddle me this, why did we hear the entire crowd at Hayward Field go, oh! when Salmon didn't crack for. It's still important, it's still meaningful, it's meaningful to every athlete that does it, and it doesn't matter if there's 30, 40, 50 of them in a, in a race at Mount Sac or wherever it might be. It's important, just like you watch here, Johnny Gregoric, he's run sub four a million times, and Lum has as well, but they're going for it nevertheless. It's a meaningful number, Gregoric pulls away on the outside, takes the victory here at the Oregon Relays, Gregoric, Sub four. And there's Aaron Salmon doing everything he can to try to get himself across that line. You know, I think they had a little something switched up in the results. Initially, they had Isaiah Harris ahead of Salmon, but it was Matt Wisner, the former Oregon Duck, sneaking in there for another sub four minute mile. But there's your champion, Johnny Gregoric, the former Oregon Duck, closing out the Oregon Relays with a sub four minute mile. There's some serious smiles even in the evening. High fives along the rail and some congratulations. Still feels the love in this stadium. There are all the times.